Hi, my name is Tony Kovach, and I'm the artist in residence here at Liberty Bellows in Philadelphia. I want to welcome you back to our free instructional video series for the piano accordion. In previous lessons, we explored the many flavors of C minor. Today we're going to begin work on a new key, A minor, and use that knowledge to perform the Russian folk tune, Korobushka. A minor is a very comfortable key to play in because it has no accidentals, or black keys. First, we need to find our A's. To find an A, you simply find a group of three black keys together, your A is going to be the white key underneath the top black key. So here's a group of three, here's our A. Here's a group of three, here's our A. Let's play an octave using both of those A's. To play our A natural minor scale, all we have to do is play every white key between A and A. You probably noticed that we used the same exact fingering as we did for many of our scales. One, two, three, then we shift up. One, two, three, four, five. The A natural minor scale consists of these notes. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and the other A on top. You probably noticed that this is strikingly similar to the C major scale we've used in previous lessons. You're right, it has all the same notes. In this sense, C major and A minor have a special relationship. They are called relative keys. Even though both keys use the exact same notes, they evoke remarkably different moods, simply because they start on different pitches. Here's the A minor scale. Here's the C major scale. Part of the fun of A minor is that we get to learn three new chords in the left hand, A minor, D minor, and E major, which will force us to leave our comfort zone near our C indent. First, let's find the tonic, A minor. Find your indent, and you're going to jump up three rows to find your A row. One, two, three. This means we're gonna jump over our G row and our D row to make it to our A row. Once you find your A row, you can use your standard fingering to play your minor chord. Now that we know where the tonic is, let's find out where the dominant and subdominant are. Your dominant E major is right above, and your subdominant D minor is below. So as is true in most of our keys, once you find your tonic, your most common chords are right in the neighborhood. But instead of counting up from C to find your tonic, there are easier ways. For instance, on my 32 bass accordion, notice that the E row is the top row. So if I wanted to find A minor, I could simply find the top row and go down one row to find A minor. If you have more than 32 bass buttons, no fear. Many accordions have a marking on the E bass button for quick reference. So just to review, we have our tonic A minor, our dominant E major, and our subdominant D minor. All of this will come in handy as we transition to our song of the day, Korobushka, also known as the Tetris theme. The phrase of the song can be played in our five finger closed position in A minor. Simply find A, put your thumb on A, and then put one finger on each white note above A. The melody begins on the second finger, which is the note B. The second phrase of the song involves shifting our hand up to this position, where our thumb is on D, our second finger is on E, our third finger is on F, our fourth finger is on G, and our fifth finger is on A. We start this section by playing our third finger, which is the note F. At this part in the phrase, we're going to have to do a crossover maneuver. We're gonna cross our third finger over our thumb and work down the scale this way. That's gonna look like this. Play the D with your thumb, then you're gonna cross your third finger over to C, and then you go down the scale. If I keep going, it sounds like this.
the whole second phrase looks like this. Then it repeats. Here's the entire melody. In the left hand, compared to many of our other songs, this song is a little bit unusual, because instead of starting on the tonic, it actually starts on the dominant chord, which is E major. One simple feature of this song is that anytime we play a chord, it is only for 8 beats until we play another chord. So we're going to play E major for 8 beats, then A minor for 8 beats, and then we simply repeat the two. So that's E major, A minor, E major, A minor. The pattern for the B section is D minor, then A minor, then E, then A minor, and then we repeat it, D minor, then A minor, E major, A minor. So the left hand for the entire song goes like this, E major, A minor, E major, A minor, D minor, A minor, E major, A minor, D minor, A minor, E major, A minor. Join us next time as we explore the A harmonic minor scale. Thanks for watching.